Hey YouTube, this is part 3 of how to build a combination lock. If you didn't see part 2, go watch part 2. If you didn't see part 1, go watch part 1. Alright, let's get started. Hey guys, I'm back. And I just filled all that with lava. And now we'll go back to what I wanted to explain earlier. So, what you want to do is you want to take this and we're going to put an inverter on it. Inverter. Oops. Sorry. An inverter. So just take a block, put a piece of in on top, and put the torch. Except the other way around. the other way around like this. So it's always keeping it closed. Right, that's right. And then you want to take a piece of redstone from this and we're going to make another one. Um, get rid of this. We'll find a place for it. But we're going to want to make one of these again. The things that make so put a torch there, 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 and there. Put redstone. And put a torch here and here. Put redstone there and there and there and there. And then put two torches on the front with redstone connecting. So this is first going to be hooked to an inverter. Yes, this is first going to be hooked to an inverter. Oh no, so this is for once we hook up all these. So first, I'm sorry guys, I'm really bad today with explaining things, but you don't want to take all these ones, like the ones that aren't being used for the combination lock, and connect them up to one strand, like so. First. So I think it's only two of them. Yep. And then just do a simple test. We want to put a repeater there and there. But do a simple test. Oops, these repeaters need to be turned around. But anyway, continue save the signal to the end. And then just put another repeater there for good measure. So then go over and destroy the torch. Because we know that the signal is going to reach. And then run this to... Uh, let me see. Run this to the door. So now this. Oops. Okay. So this. get it wrong. Oops, I forgot to put an inverter. Oh, something was wrong there. Okay, so you're going to want to put an inverter first, like I showed you. Block on the torch, like so, with redstone on top, of course. 
So then, if I press the wrong button, it should open. Oh, whoops. Sorry, guys. That's our reset. And then that's one. So if we press two, oh no, they got it wrong. So, this works. This would work, but I added this cool little feature. So, first what you want to do is you're going to want to take a lead off of this here and run it back. Oh, geez. You're going to want to run it back to here. Like this. So you're going to want to run. Nope. Okay. Um, you're going to want to run it. I'm just going to run it like this, since that's easier. That way it doesn't connect with anything. And just for good measure, we'll throw a repeater in the middle, just to make sure that everything gets to where it needs to go. And then from here, we're going to want to take another piece of redstone, just go like this, make a little timer, I guess you'd call it, and then just, and just leave it. Leave them all set on zero. But now that that's done, you want to take this right here and send it up here. Oh, it's dark out. Oh my goodness. That is a little bit close. So, what I'm going to go like this. right there. And then just run your redstone. I think like this. Just as the have it shown right here. I don't need that anymore. So run this up. And then we'll put a repeater. Whoops. Okay, we don't want that. So just put a block. I know you can't put a block. Now we can. Just put a block like this. 
There. Just like that. So now, when you get the button wrong, when you get the when you get the code wrong, it should be set and close, like so. So now, say I'm gonna do one, and then I oh know I hit two. It resets. And then if I try to do one, one, three, five, and then I say, oh no, I think it was four, one, three, four. Maybe I'll just hit four. It won't work because it reset, because it already reset itself. As soon as I got it wrong, it resets itself. So that's how that works. Oh, that doesn't need to be there. And then the last thing we're going to want to do on this door is we're going to want to make a button on this side again that makes it so the lava pool closes for a short amount of time just so you can pass over. And then it opens back up. So what you're gonna want to do? You want to dig two over from your button here, and then here, just put a button two over from the. Oops. Whoopsies. Oops. And luckily that wasn't bad, but put a button one over from the button, the reset button that we made over here, and then put a block with redstone, and then you don't want to dig, down, like this. And just pull a little stairwell down. And then just take your redstone and bring it down. And we're going to want to build another one of our device, another one of our things that we built up there. So we're going to need a piston again, just a regular one. And just throw one of these together real quick. Except this time we don't need the reset line on this one. This one's just regular. Let's throw torch under. And this over here. repeating just in case and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to okay we're going to want to take a redstone and go over here and make a timer again A little one here. Just like this. Nothing too fancy. And then you're just going to want to bring your redstone over here and connect it back up. Just like that. Oh, and one thing you're going to want to do is just, um, you don't want to make it so it doesn't repeat. So, how do I do this? Uh, 
I think all you would want to do. Oh yeah, just run it up to there. I don't know, that won't work. Run it. I'll just do this. Go like this. Make it put two more repeaters here to substitute. And just set these all on full full power or whatever you want to call it. And then you're gonna want to just put a repeater like this, just so the current doesn't come back through and try to repeat. It'll just stop right there. So now we take this redstone. I gotta put a block up here first. Then we take this redstone. And we oh Take a hole. There we go. Then bring it up, back, and then take it over to this one right here. So, all we're going to want to do is just take it. tie it in. Just like that. So then when we go to push this should work. When we go across back over we just push this button. Okay. Didn't work as maybe I pushed the wrong one. Nope. Oh, I know it's wrong. The current didn't. The current isn't strong enough. Oh, that's it. Okay. Just a little redstone error. It might just work like this. <sighs> Go get a lever. There's just something to power it. So it's good. It works now. So now all you're going to want to do is just come around here, push the button, hurry up and cross, and before it opens up. And that should be it for this door. So we'll try everything out. I just reset it. So we'll go get it right. Okay. That worked all right. Does our reset button work? Yes, it does. Cross back over. Works perfect. You gotta be running though. I wouldn't walk over that. 
And then let's see if our wrong see if our wrong our wrong button thing works. It works, because I'm... It would have killed me if I was in survival. And... That looks to be it. Hey guys, just to show you that this works, we'll go... One, three, four. What well, we set our combination to. And there we go. We got our nice box here that we're keeping safe. And now you want to cross back over. There we go. And whoops, I got it wrong. So, that's your combination lock that we just made in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for sticking with me through this three-part tutorial. I know it was long, but now you know how to make my version of combination lock. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day. See ya.